from injecting calcium phosphate into a trabecular insufficiency fracture. So it's a procedure that requires fluoroscopy. And it's a procedure that also requires exact placement of the leg in a way that it just doesn't move. Okay, so this is what I do. It's a little trick that I learned. Uh, you just take a basin, cut it out, scissors, plastic basin. This is in, instead of using a very expensive foot holder, be careful of filming over here, okay? Thank you. So instead of using an expensive foot holder, a leg holder, this is what you do. You go like this. Now why am I doing this? I want the leg to be above the other leg, okay? Because the other leg is, is over here. When we shoot, when we do imaging, we want to be able to shoot like this and not let the other leg get in the way. So once again, I set up that, I set up my little base in there, coban. You want to set it up on the shin level. And you take this coban and you put it around this way. This is where it takes a little bit of work, but not too much. Just like this. Once again, I'm doing this uh, to replace the very expensive hard foam holders that are out there. They're these wedges that people purchase, but even they are a little tricky because you have to have you have to put them inside a sterile bag, or you need to put them underneath here, which is a little tricky in and of itself. So, what's the 25 cent solution? Here it is, right here. Okay, so the throwaway basin. You cut it out. Go in. Boom. Set it like this, and now it's set up and ready. It's not going to move. Image AP, image lateral, lateral view, uh, because it's raised will be nice because the other leg will not be in the way. Just wanted to show you a little trick that I learned in Deep Dark Jungles of Peru, how to set some, how to set the leg up in preparation for a calcium phosphate injection and it has to be done with fluoroscopy. Thank you very much.